Yeah, that's a weird place to stop, but fuck it. It is what it is. It's just... There are several straight men who don't act like anything you're talking about here. Again, we're, we're still on the Trist, Trista, <clears throat> Tristan thing and her transition from to be Victor Victoria. I'm, I'm sorry, but she's a straight woman who says she wants to be a drag queen. Okay, I mean, that's possible, but it doesn't fit with what she's saying here. Overland masculine energy. What does that have to do with being a man? There are several men who aren't Chad. There's the beta male now and whatnot who don't at all want to be that, but that doesn't make them any less straight or any less male. Um, so, like, as a girl, I just never really related to that. And then the final thing that kind of brings it full, I feel transgender almost, is I've always had... Can you send me? Yeah. Where I just... This sounds so crazy to say out loud. Like, I just always thought my life was easier if I had that part. That if I asserted myself, I wouldn't be a bitch, but I would be, like, a man. Statue. I know it's a... What? Okay. My mother, I'm not going to say her name, is a manager in a store. Most assertive woman I've ever known, and no one would ever be stupid enough to call her a bitch. My grandmother was very assertive. My great-grandmother... Handle that house very well, too. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Maybe you're just weak-willed. And there are plenty of men who are weak-willed. That doesn't make them any less of a man. It may not fit into the classical definition. And I can be a real bitch myself, so, you know. <laughs> when I want to be. Most of the time at work, I just do my shit and go home. I don't bring it out because I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not losing my job. I haven't. Bitch, yet, I haven't my act. And that's my personal opinion on me. But I'll still do it in our life. When I'm not at work. Or I'm not in a situation where I think, no, I don't get thrown out of here or anything. But whatever. Assertive, not assertive, has nothing to do with if you have a pair of these or if you have one of if you have one of those. That has <laughs> nothing to do with it. There are plenty of women that are assertive. That just be assertive. You you're following stereotypes. You're following belief systems that haven't mattered since nineteen ninety. I don't know what. There are plenty of assertive women who we respect. If people don't respect them, fuck them. There, there are plenty of people who think a guy being assertive is an asshole. Would you rather be called an asshole or a bitch? It's the same thing, and I'm sorry to anyone that took that as being offensive. I didn't mean it to be. Assertiveness is assertiveness. It's a good time to be assertive if you need to be. If that is your personality, that is who you are. It has nothing to do with what's between your legs. And that is not penis envy. Penis envy is, is, is you want to be on that end. Like, when you fuck somebody with a strap on, you wish it was all the time. When you're sucking a dick, you're thinking, I want to be the one getting sucked. Or when he's fucking in the butt, you want to be the one fucking in the butt. But you don't want to be using a strap on. You want to have your own natural thing. That is actual penis envy. What you're talking about is some bullshit some asshole said. It means nothing. A woman can be assertive as a man can be assertive. It has dick all to do with anything. And why are you worrying about what other people fucking thinking? Obviously, that don't have shit to do with you, judging by your videos. <laughs> You don't come across as a person who's worried about anybody else's thought process. Just give me them damn views. And that's how I always think. When I talk to people, I, I think of myself as being assertive, and I think of myself as masculine energy. But because I'm a female and I was born with female parts, parts people think, oh, she's a bitch. Yes, sir. Superstars. What? Superstars. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. What? Yep, and she's using that word in the wrong context. A woman can be assertive, a woman can be strong. Well, I've had several women bosses. None of us had any problems. Well, obviously not. Though, <laughs> being assertive, yeah, I'm not a weak-willed person. 
I think that's why people misunderstand me for the people that go into the sissy world that want someone to control them. I, don't even try it. It ain't gonna go your way. Okay. You're gonna be equal or you're gonna be gone. <laughs> but you're taking your own misunderstanding of stereotypes and using them into a foreign relation. And nothing of this quotes as manhood as I have to be the manliest man manless no, nothing in there nothing in there states to me there, there are several trans men i.e. born women became men who their personality is kind of cool with shit they'll deal with shit but they don't have to like <laughs> They don't have to chat it up or anything, okay? Yeah, I know I'm making up shit. Whatever, fuck it. You, you get my, what I'm trying to say here. And there are several that will chat the fuck out of shit. <laughs> you know what YouTubers I'm talking about, too. You've seen them. I'm not going to mention names here today. <laughs> but they will chat the fuck out of this shit. And that doesn't make anything wrong with that. And there are several women who will be assertive, will be directly in your face dealing with you. And they ain't got to give two shits of what you think of it. In Buttercup, I hate to break it to you, but nothing in there is stating you wish you had a dick instead of tits and a vagina. Nothing. Not one word. So, the whole transgender. Can also, you would be a transgender drag queen then. You think, you think a transgender drag queen being overly assertive at people is going to be something people are going to be overly in respect mode? On general stereotype. There are several people who would be okay with that. But the way you're talking, I'm like, um... Anyway. Unity. I have always, like, called to me for some reason. And I don't, and I never... We did. No one told me anything. No one tells me anything. I, I, I do the bit with the phone, but but I record my stuff on my phone, so I obviously can't be like faking like I'm calling or anything. <laughs> Frankly, if I called you, I butt dialed. No offense. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> what what does that even mean? The community is called to you, not I have to be this. You see. I'm not having a community call. I'm realizing that what I was born as is not what's in here. That's not what in here. This is not, yeah, the original form of that who I should be. That's what several trans men have communicated. It, 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 who they are in here and here does not match what's down here. Or what's here, you know, the whole you know, the system of the body it doesn't not match in what inside. And that's how I feel. You're you're not. There's no calling. You're not joining the church. There's no calling. Why? I'm like, well, if you guys, I'm not like, I don't go out and advocate for it. Although I'm so down, and I and I and I love advocating for it. I love advocating for it. But I'm not like, oh, you should be the advocate for it. But what was always stopping me was like, I always thought, oh my gosh, am I trans? And I know, like, I know I've like trolled and stuff in the past, and. Yes, sir. What? I'm going to be advocate great, but I don't see anything 